So, um, he was a bit the first, the Victorian. Like, that ushered in, like, lasting, like, prosperity for England. And so, I think maybe, like, since America was built by English colonists, like, it would make a lot of sense that um, the First Amendment was, like, written because they were trying, it was like an eye test, the 11 eye test. They were trying to see who would value freedom of speech, like, above anything else in the country. So, like, they made all of these amendments because they were trying to get back to, like, the, like, the origin. So, like, they were trying to see, like, where, how do we, like, who is most suited to, like, deliver the most prosperity to um, the United States of America? Someone who values freedom of speech above anything else. And so it also makes sense that while you're on that journey, like while I was on that journey, it was kind of smooth sailing. And then they had like the final boss, it's like the Second Amendment. So like I was like, I had like, you know, like I had like, you know, I was playing chess, I was playing video games, I was playing Sims, I was playing Minecraft, I was building architecture. And then like the final test, like the final boss, is somebody with a gun, <laughs> like the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, because that was written probably to kind of like, um, that was written because like the Republican Party was running parallel to the Democratic Party, and so like that was probably written intentionally as a test, just like in Ready Player One, like we have to be sure. Like that was probably written intentionally as a test to be like, as like a temptation in the desert, a temptation in the forest of North America, <laughs> I'm the king of Native America. <laughs> That was like a temptation of like, is this person going to, now that they have like um, amassed this following, now that they have like all of these people, this like, now that they have like the American people, are they going to either like, um, are they going to fall victim to this gun, whether that is like someone cheating them with it <laughs> or like being power hungry and like, doing all of this, these gun things, <laughs> and it's like, then, like, that was the test, I was like, no, I don't actually want that gun thing to do, I was like, no, thank you, I don't need that, <laughs> and so then you actually arrive, like, to the Jedi League Championship, <laughs> and you're like, oh, hey, there's the champion, and then you realize that just like the Wizard of Oz, you were the champion all along, I was the champion the whole time, <laughs> I got, I found out I was on the Death Star, and I worked for myself, <laughs> that was the whole point of the movie. And so, like, that's what happened. It's like, you got to arrive to the First Amendment, but that final hurdle was the most difficult one because it was this temptation of this gun. And it's like, I don't need that, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need to shoot anyone. I don't need to shoot myself. <laughs> I don't need to shoot anyone at all. I don't need that gun. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to go. I'm going to have my pen because it's mightier than the sword. That's the whole point of the story. That was the test. And they were looking for somebody whose writing was that powerful. They were looking for somebody who would be able to do that 11 eye test and arrive at freedom of speech and realize that they were kind of trying to associate like gun rights, the right to bear arms with like actual human arms, like the arm that you write with, <laughs> like your dominant arm, your dominant hand, which is the, the pen that is mightier than the sword, which is the Second Amendment. The First Amendment is the pen that is mightier than the sword, the Second Amendment. I figured it out. Because I am the king of Native America. <laughs>